Hi, today we'll be making these cute perler bead crosses. We're making dozens of them right now for Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes, but they are great as a stocking stuffer, a little party favor, and we even put little string on, so they're great for hanging as a Christmas tree ornament. I'm Diane, and welcome to Craft to Care. To begin, you'll need plastic perler beads in the colors of your choice to make whatever designs you would like. You'll also need your square grid for making the cross, but they do come in other shapes if, if you would like to make a star or a heart or something else. You'll need an iron, and you'll need some wax paper for when you go to iron the crosses at the end. If you'd like to put a string through for hanging, you will need a scissors and some sort of string. We prefer to use dental floss because it's really strong. Now for the fun part. To start making your cross, get your beads and start placing them on the grid in the pattern of your choice. For size, you can make them any size you'd like. Ours are 21 beads down, and the main part of the cross is five beads wide, and the crossbar of the cross is four beads wide. You can see that on the picture that's on the side of the video. Also, if you want to hang your cross, you will take out the middle top bead. It is three rows down and right in the center at the top. So you'll take that out and that'll make your hole for putting your string through so that you can hang your cross. Once you're done placing all your beads, you're going to take a piece of wax paper and place that over top of your cross. Take your iron. Be very careful and gentle when you put it down on top of the cross. You don't want to be moving quickly or too hard that it moves those beads out of place and ruins the shape of your cross. So you're going to have it on a high setting and just press down for a few seconds until those beads start to melt together and then they will hold together in that cross shape. You'll flip it over, take the grid off, then put on your other sheet of wax paper and melt down the bottom side. You'll get that all melted and make sure that all of those beads are melted thoroughly together. You may see some little holes left um, in the beads and some will melt completely together. That's fine. Once you're all done and you have it in the look that you wanted, you will just remove the wax paper. Be very careful because the cross will still be hot and it will still be flexible since that plastic is still very warm. But don't worry, in a few seconds it will start to cool off. Make sure you keep it on a flat surface though so that when it cools it is still laying flat. Now you will find your hole at the top, cut your piece of string to the length that you would like, and just weave that through the hole in the top of the cross and make a knot and then your cross is ready for hanging. I hope you have as much fun making these cute perler bead crosses as much as I did. They are great for kids or adults to make and to give as gifts to anyone. Please let me know in the comments down below who you plan to make them for. Remember, for more great DIY gift ideas, hit that subscribe button. See you next time.